everyone, this is Only Hamster Advice, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a hamster hideaway, and this was requested by my Hammy one so if you have a request for a video, please send that to me. So this is a Puffs tissue box, and everybody has tissue boxes, so this is a pretty common household item. I have some tissue paper in it from before, and this is... um. Well, if your hamster starts chewing on it, then you might want to remove this. But Jingle doesn't really chew on this, so it's okay. And also be sure that your cage is high, like the ceiling is high enough so that if your hamster decides to climb up on this, um, like up here, it can't escape because that'd be really bad. So this is the first thing that you need. This is unscented toilet paper, and I already had it ripped up from before, but make sure that it's nice and ripped, and it's not bulky, and here's some more. Put that into your hamster hideout. So, you can put in as much as you want, but don't put in too much or else your hamster might not be able to get in. And then I have some Carefresh bedding. I'm going to put that in. And next, I'm going to put some more of this in. And some more Carefresh bedding. And if you have like Aspen bedding or anything, you can put that in too. The next thing I know that everybody has, and this is computer paper. So, you just need a little bit. And this you don't really need. It's just sort of if you want it, so you can rip this into strips, but be sure that's not like dyed or anything, because then your hamster could get sick and mess around with the hamster then you don't want to use dyed paper. So I'm just going to put in a little bit for right now, and that should be enough. And here's a little warning about the toilet paper, or the paper. You might see your hamster stick it inside its cheek patches, but that's okay because it's probably relocating it. But if you see your hamster eating anything in this, you might want to take out whatever it's eating. But usually if it sticks it into its cheek patches, it's just going to like move it around, so that's okay. And now I'm going to put this into Jingle's cage. And um, about the cleaning... You can clean this if you see some, like, poop in it. You can just take the poop out, and then, yes. And if it starts to smell, also take it out. Let's see if we can get Jingle into there. Okay, so there's Jingle. And that is all for the hamster toilet paper tissue box hideout. And your hamster may sleep in here, which is good for it. And again, I'd really love it if you subscribed, liked, and commented. And also if you could give me some recommendations for future videos. So thank you. Bye!